I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in San Diego for REIT World 2012. Joining me today is Ralph Block, the author of Investing in REITs. So Ralph, and do you think that the general investing public ha has an adequate working knowledge of how REITs operate and how they function? Well, I think it's a lot better today than it was even five years ago. I think uh, uh, most investors understand the kinds of organizations uh, that, that, that uh, REITs are. Uh, that they own diversified kinds of properties, generally within a, a, a property type, and they know quite a bit about their dividend policy and that. Uh, but I think the one area where there's still probably a lot of confusion relates to uh, operating metrics and valuation metrics. Uh, I think there's still confusion about FFO, AFFO, uh, why they're different from GAAP accounting and whether that's justified. Um, and I also think that there's probably uh, a lack of understanding of the importance of net asset value and how it's calculated and why there aren't objective numbers about it. Uh, maybe eventually with fair value accounting, if that ever gets here, that'll solve that problem. But I think there's still some confusion in that, in that area. And, and if you had to narrow it down to, to the biggest misperception that, that still exists in the, in the broader investment community, what would that be? I think probably the biggest misconception relates to risk. Uh, I think people are still looking at REITs as being, well, those are kind of risky investments for me. Um, and I think um, that uh, we were probably on the way to dispelling that up until the Great Recession. And then we had the problem where REITs had to scramble to raise a lot of uh, equity capital and pay off debt. Uh, and as a result, the stocks became very volatile. And uh, so I think a lot of people are saying, well, gee, you know, I'm not sure uh, how to think about REIT stocks. They bounce around so much, um, I'm, 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 I want to be cautious. I think in the last 12 months, I think uh, that concern is dissipating. Uh, I think the stocks have been less volatile, and certainly they built up their capital structures. And I think they're going to be increasingly favored over the next 12 months because of the stability of their cash flows and less perception of risk. And as someone who follows the industry closely, you know, looking over the, you know, the past 12 months, say, what's been the biggest surprise development that you've seen? I would say I was probably most surprised by how the retail sector has held up. Uh, and I would even expand that by uh, talking about sectors that uh, deal directly with consumer self-storage, for example. Uh, consumer spending has been uh, difficult. Consumers have been over levered. Uh, but retail sales have generally done better than, than I thought they would. And we also have a situation where retailers uh, really want to open more stores. And I think that's benefiting a lot of the REITs that are, have properties in, in, in good locations and that are highly productive. And lastly, you know, now looking ahead to 2013, which is right around the corner, what do you think is going to be the dominant trend or theme in the REIT industry? I thought for a while that it could be more consolidation because we haven't seen that much of it in the last year or two. We had a couple of uh, larger mergers, uh, Ventus and Nationwide, for example. Uh, but I'm not so sure that's going to be anything that will be different. And I think a lot of the problem there is that uh, in most uh, real estate sectors, greater size doesn't offer a huge competitive advantage. I think the, I think the dominant theme over the next 12 months, and here I'm being a little contrarian, uh, I think cap rates uh, will continue to decline and property values will continue to, to increase uh, because we're going to have no matter uh, what the political landscape, a slow growing economy, low interest rates, and I think people are going to be ever increasingly looking for stable cash flows. Great, Ralph, thank you so much for your insights. My pleasure. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.